Yeah, good. Get a water before we start. Yeah. So, three, two, one. Hello and welcome back to Richard Bozulich's Get Strong and Invading. Today we're going to be going over the small knight enclosure with an extension. Uh, problem, uh, we're starting with problem number 66 here, where white does this probe move here. And from this probe move, black actually has four responses. Uh, unfortunately, the book only goes over uh, these two and actually a third one here. But um, for problem number 66, black responds here. And so the question is, how does white respond to this move? It actually has two options depending on what white wants. Um, if white wants to take the corner and live in it, white plays here. Black will block, white will come out here. And then black comes here and white makes life in the corner. Now this corner is kind of small, so after this probe here, if black decides he wants this to the outside, you can leave this for later. You don't have to play it immediately. Uh, just know that figure once, I don't know, 10 points or... Uh, later on, if 10 points becomes a big move, then this would be a good option. If white, or if the corner is too small, and it, like I said, at this point in the game it might be because it is so early on, white can try to make sabaki instead by playing here. Um, and then black will take the corner, uh, white will come around here, black will limit its eye potential, and then white will jump. From here, if black plays away, white can aim at going here to attach. Um, the point of this is to make sabaki or you know the nice loose shape and black has two responses. Black can either defend this way in which case white will cut here um, and then the continuation isn't actually shown in the book but this is just my uh, interpretation of it where uh, black goes here and then white extends um, Alternatively, white can uh, just cut here, and black will take, and then white's making nice eye shape over here. Um, alternatively, if black doesn't take this move, if instead black takes this move, then white will bend around here and look to link up with this stone. Alright, so moving on to problem number 69, instead of black playing B here, black is actually going to pull back here. Same as the last question, what does white do now? This move actually doesn't put a whole lot of pressure on the stone, uh, so white can actually jump all the way out to here. Um, and then black will play here just to cut off and kill the stone. And then white finishes up by playing here. If white plays here, black will haunt it here, and this actually kills this group. Um, so when white jumps here and does this, white can later threaten to come back at A. I forgot to mention that. Playing here is really slow and really heavy. Black will go here to prevent white from going in the corner. And then if white tries to jump far out here, black can actually make it even heavier by playing these sorts of moves. And then come under attack. And white has one eye here. White is forced to come out in the center to find the second eye. And it's surrounded by black. Moving on to problem 72. Uh, is when black plays D here. So black is saying that he wants the corner. How should white continue? White should jump all the way over to here. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, when I made this, I made the same mistake. So, let's see. Ah, here we go. So I had to, I had to reset the board, that's right, because in the problem, there's actually an extra stone here. I'm not sure if that was intended to be in all the other problems or if it's just this one, but anyways, um, so white attaches here, black pulls back. 
White pulls here, kind of threatening to link up. This stone prevents it from linking up, but like, like White can't uh, link up directly because the stone actually uh, cuts it off when White tries to push through here. But with this stone, White can make some more sabaki and make some eye shape because when Black responds this way to cut, White doesn't cut here like he would trying to link through here because, again, the stone prevents that. Um, just to show you quick, I didn't actually include this, but um, if White tries to push through here, this stone prevents that by cutting this off, and so it doesn't actually successfully link up. So anyway, so instead of blocking here, White actually uh, pokes here at this shape. Black will respond here, and then White pulls back. Black needs to fix this, otherwise White can cut that stone off and link up that way. And then after White's made this shape, White can Hane here, and now he has enough room to live. Black's Mayo is completely wiped out. Moving on to problem 75. If White doesn't make these exchanges over here and just plays this move instead first, uh, this is actually a bad move. And so the question for Black on problem 75 is how does Black punish this? Black's move is here. Because again, the, these stones are really heavy because this is a really slow move. Um, so white can't make that same sabaki as he did. Alternatively, if white tries to play the ear move here, this just helps black seal in the territory and this stone is still kind of on its own. Moving on to problem 78, which I believe is this one, yes? Yes. So black is looking to invade this corner enclosure at top. It's actually pretty far and thin. You know what? Not, when it says this one's far and thin, that's the same as the other one. So I'm guessing there must have had to been a stone here, and it might have been a misprint. There are actually a few misprints in this book I'm finding as I'm going through it. But um, And actually in one of these corner enclosures, I will be pointing that out. So I'm, I'm guessing that there should have been a stone there in retrospect. Anyways, uh, problem 78. Where should black invade this thin-looking moyo? extension thing. Black's move is here um, and then White will jump out and get into this running fight. Alternatively White can do the usual diagonal move at which point Black should attach to this stone. White's normal response is here and then Black can Hane for a little Aji and then come out here. Um, if Black doesn't attach here and just comes out here directly White will play this and expose this cutting point. Black probably needs to respond to that at some point. Uh, problem number 81, when black attaches here, instead of going to this move, if white goes here, the, the question for black is how does he answer this now? Black's move is that same Aji move as before to do this Hane. Uh, it exposes this cut so white needs to fix after which point black can pull out here and make some eye shape. In order to keep black out of the corner, white needs to honey here, and then black can jump out in the corner. And so this is actually a reinforced knights, similar to before, but now black has an extra stone here. If black doesn't exchange this honey first and just pulls here, black is giving up a lot more of the corner to white, and this, this cut is not really a thing anymore. And so this result isn't as good as isn't as good for black as the other one. Okay, moving on to problem number 84, which is this one. Uh, white has made the th optimal three space extension here for this enclosure, but black can still invade this. So problem number 84 is how should black invade? Like with every other three space extension, the, the invasion point is the middle here. And if white jumps out, black will jump out, and they'll do the uh, running fight in the center again. If black doesn't do this move and instead attaches it in here, this is actually considered a failure uh, because white will defend, and if black does this honey thing again, it tries to shoulder hit this move, black shape is completely destroyed, so th I mean, this is definitely not as good as the other one. Similar to all the other vari variations before, when black plays here, instead of jumping out, white does the diagonal. So now what does black do? This is problem number 87. 
black smooth is to also diagonal here. Um, and then the usual response for white is to diagonal this. Black will push, white will block, and black will cut. White will extend to save this stone. And then black can actually jump all the way out here. And the reason is because this stone is actually uh, some big Aji on it. So if, just for example, um, if white tries to push through here, just keep an eye on the stone. The normal move for white to cut is this. But then when white cuts, or sorry, when black cuts this, it puts this in Atari. So white can either save the stone or give it up. And if white tries to save the stone, then black can come back here and do one of these two moves to capture these two stones. Um, alternatively, if white decides to save this by capturing that, then black gets out with this panuki. Uh, moving back a little bit. The usual move that we saw before is for black to come out here and then white to hane. Um, black counter hane is and white cuts. Black is confined here and it's, it's not as good as the other one. Um, in fact, it's a big failure. So if, if black does this... Trying to look up the follow-ups here because I don't quite remember. Uh, oh, sorry. There was no uh, follow-up after this. It's just that it's confined. The follow-up is, is if instead of haunting, black does this move. Then white will respond here to block. Black will come out. But then after this Atari, he's sealed in again. And black stones are almost dead. Backing up a little ways. So after the diagonal here, if instead of this diagonal again from white, if white blocks from this side, black will respond here and then white will jump. And after white jumps here, problem number 90 is how should black respond? Black's move is to do the one space jump here. And white's usual response is to block from this side as well. At which point black will diagonal move out into the center. Black can also trying to remember uh, this one. Black can also attach here and after white responds by fixing black can do these series of exchanges to make a nice giant wall and now these stones are kinda caught behind enemy lines and white and black can go back to attacking them. Backing up a little ways instead of blocking here if white caps this move. This is problem number 93. Now how should black answer? Well, if you see that uh, this is an elephant's eye and you should poke through it, you are correct. Um, now it looks like it's in trouble because this move exposes these two cuts. But black isn't as weak as he looks. Because after this, white will block, black will cut, the stone can't be saved, so he needs to give it up. And block from the side and force him to capture. Now black's alive. And now later, black can actually pull this move out for some more fighting, as well as push through here and into the center. So backing up a little ways. Uh, this is the last variation for this problem. So when black does this move, instead of poking, white instead blocks from here. This is problem number 96. Now what should black do? At this point, that those whole cutting variations work because now white's a move ahead, so black needs to actually fix here. Uh, white will fix this cutting point, and then black will come back to attack these stones. After this, white may run this stone out, and then they just get into this stepping stones battle where black is actually a move ahead and in the much better position to fight these stones. Okay, uh, moving on to problem number... That's not right. Did I skip one? Nope, oh, here we go. Okay, problem number 99. Here we go. So, Black just made this extension to defend this. White is now taking the key reduction point for this knight's move enclosure. It's this uh, capping knight's move stone here. Um, for if, if you see it anywhere on the board, this is actually the key move to reduce, or the usual move to reduce. And black responded here. This is also one of black's usual responses to this move. However, white can still launch a success, successful invasion into the corner, or at least into the side here. So what is white's move to do that? 
This is problem number 99. This is actually really cool with the Suji. White's move is here. Now if black tries to seal it in the corner by hiding here, white can cross cut. And then no matter what black does, white can link up to this stone, either one of these stones. So if black Atari's from this side, white can counter Atari from this side, forcing black to either connect or take. And if black just does this one for instance, then white can link up to this stone and then now white's in the side here. If black Atari's this side, then white can Atari from this side. And again, either black uh, does this connection move or takes, and if he takes, then white can link up to this stone and is now basically captured this and is up in the upper side. Um, alternatively, if black, instead of haunting here, pulls back, white can start a co for life in the corner by playing here, black will block, white can hane, black will on it back, white will take the 2-2, and then this co starts with this move. So if the, the, when black pulls back, he's inviting a co versus just haneing, which lets white get one of the two sides. Uh, backing up a little bit more, instead of pulling back or instead of haneing, if black plays this move, uh, this is problem number 102, and the question again is how should white respond? The correct move for white is to Hani here. Uh, the usual move for black in response is this one, after which case white pulls back and is now alive in the corner. If black resists this move and tries to Atari this, white will give up that stone and instead Atari from this way. And this will revert to what our previous problems look like where white is now on the side over here. Okay, one last problem. Uh, it's this one. If, if this small knight enclosure is completely surrounded meaning there's a black stone here and a, a strong black stone here on either side a black can actually come in here and completely destroy white's eye potential and uh, white's base forcing white to either run or give up the, the stone completely so problem number 105 is where should black invade this formation black's key point is the attachment here uh, white will cover it just to make sure it can't get out. Uh, black will go here, exposing this cutting point. White needs to fix, after which case black will hane. White will block, pull back, and fix. And then black's going to threaten to link up, so white needs to prevent that. And then black's going to do a similar thing over here. Now black stones are alive in the corner. Black will threaten to link up again. But again, it, it, it's alive in the corner, so it's not so important for white to block this way because again it's live but now white is completely without eye potential it's one giant lump of stones and now is forced to run into the center backing up a little bit for a variation uh, where does it start instead of fixing here if white honey is here and this is why this explains why the the fixing is important black will block here white needs to pull back otherwise black can cut that and uh, be just fine after which black will hane here and pull back and then cut here. Now white has to make a decision either save these stones or save these stones. Either way a black is going to get something. So that, that cutting point is very devastating if white doesn't fix it when he, when he should. Alright that is it for the small knight enclosures. In the next part, our next video we're going to be going over the large knight invasions here. Um, the, the, this next video, I'm, I'm forewarning you now before I even uh, record and before I even release it, is going to be a long one. I, I just, I could not find a way to really separate it because they're all, um, rely, they're not all rely, but they're all uh, related to a single formation and there's 17 problems, I think, for that one. Um, so it is going to be a longer, a longer video, but that's, that's okay. Um, overall, these there's going to be seven of these corner invasions including this one uh this one here um so i'm lo looking forward to doing that uh thank you guys so much for watching if you like the video please do like it if you have any comments suggestions feedback please leave them below in the comments if you're new around here please subscribe i do videos like this every day uh thanks again and i will see you guys in the next video I suppose I need to let it go. La da 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 da. So I can cut it out and cut it out and cut it out and cut it out.
de Gol Navidad.